Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. In the previous video, we have started with the sulci and gyri of the cerebrum. And in that video, we have seen the sulci and gyri on the suprolateral surface of the cerebrum. In this video, we will see the sulci and gyri on the medial surface of the cerebrum. This may be kept for you in the practical exams or it may be asked as short notes for you. Those who have not subscribed to the channel, do subscribe now. Keep watching the videos. Now we will move on to the topic sulci and gyri of cerebrum medial surface of the hemisphere. So what you are seeing here is the medial surface. So this is the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere. We will now see the important sulci and gyri on this surface. Just in front of the lamina terminalis, so this is the lamina terminalis. In front of the lamina terminalis, we have the paraterminal gyrus. So that is a small gyrus present in front of the lamina terminalis. Lamina terminalis represents the cranial end of the neural tube in the embryology. You should have learned neural tube. This lamina terminalis represents the cranial end of the neural tube. So we have seen the paraterminal gyrus. We will now again start with the other important sulci and gyri on this surface. Before we start with the sulci and gyri, you should see this arch-shaped band of the commissural fibers that is the called as the corpus callosum. Below the corpus callosum, you have a septum pellucidum which is made of both gray matter and white matter. And below that you are seeing here the diencephalon mass which is made of thalamus and hypothalamus. So this is thalamus and also the hypothalamus. If you see just above the corpus callosum we have one sulci or you see here this above the corpus callosum this sulci will be the callosal sulcus. So that is the first sulcus in this uh, medial surface. We will see the next sul sulci. In, in line with this callosal sulcus, above the callosal sulcus, or you seeing this red line, this is the cingulate sulcus. So this is callosal sulcus and this is cingulate sulcus. In between the callosal sulcus and cingulate sulcus, you have the cingulate gyrus. So the, that is the first gyrus we are seeing in this surface. Presents the cingulate sulcus which extends external to the callosal sulcus and it is parallel with the curvature of the corpus callosum. And this in, inner part is called as the cingulate gyrus which main function is the limbic, uh, it belongs to the limbic lobe or limbic system. So we will continue with the medial surface of the cerebrum. We have learned this is the callosal sulcus above the corpus callosum. And this is the cingulate sulcus. And this is the cingulate gyrus. Outer zone is further divided by a vertical sulcus into an anterior part, medial frontal gyrus. So this is the medial frontal gyrus. Are you seeing this is the vertical sulcus? And this part is the medial frontal gyrus. And the next part, this is the paracentral lobule. This lobule is incompletely divided. You have, we have learnt this central sulcus in the supralateral surface. So this central sulcus divides this part into the precentral gyrus and postcentral gyrus, which are the extensions from the supralateral surface. So we are seeing the sulci and gyri on the medial surface of the cerebrum. We have learnt this is the callosal sulcus in relation to the corpus callosum. And this is the cingulate sulcus and this is the cingulate gyrus. And front part is called as the medial frontal gyrus and next is the paracentral lobule. So still this we have learned. Now we will continue. If you see behind the corpus callosum, so this is the posterior end of the corpus callosum. Behind the corpus callosum, we have two important sulcus, parieto-occipital sulcus and this is the another sulcus which is cutting exactly the occipital pole if you see that is the calcarine sulcus. This pareto occipital sulcus is 5 cm above the occipital pole. 
so this medial surface behind the corpus callosum presents two important sulci parieto occipital and calcarine sulcus parieto occipital we have already learnt in the previous video it is a secondary sulcus which is beginning from the supramedial margin so this is the supramedial margin exactly 5 cm in front of the occipital pole the calcarine sulcus so this is the calcarine sulcus cutting the occipital pole slightly above the medial occipital border this is the medial occipital border slightly above the medial occipital border and it joins with the parieto occipital sulcus you can see this is the parieto occipital sulcus and this is the calcarine sulcus they joins it joins the parieto occipital sulcus below the splenium of the corpus callosum so this is the splenium posterior end of the corpus callosum below that if you see both these sulci are joining if you see this surface two important sulci we have already learned this is the parieto occipital sulcus and this is the calcarine sulcus the triangular area in between these two sulci will be called as the cuneus and below the cuneus if you see this yellow color that is the lingual gyrus the triangular area between the parieto occipital and calcarine sulcus is called as cuneus and the area below the calcarine sulcus is known as the lingual gyrus precuneus if you see this is cuneus this is cuneus precuneus is this part this is quadrilateral quadrilateral area behind the sulcus singular otherwise cingulate sulcus we have just now we have learned this is the cingulate sulcus behind the cingulate sulcus this part is called as the precuneus so if you see outside the cingulate gyrus we have five gyri from front to behind this is medial frontal gyrus and this is paracentral lobule and this is the precuneus cuneus and the lingual gyrus outside the cingulate sulcus outer zone presence from before backwards i will again show you in this this is medial frontal gyrus and this part is the paracentral lobule and this triangular part is the cuneus and this quadrilateral part is the precuneus below that that is the lingual gyrus so we have six gyri in this if you add this cingulate gyrus outside the cingulate gyrus we have five gyri so we have completed this medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere sulci and gyri it is a small topic but it will be kept in the practical exams medial surface of cerebral hemisphere along with the arterial supply which is the main artery for this surface is the anterior cerebral artery which will be running over the corpus callosum so that artery will give branches anterior cerebral artery is the main artery for this sur surface so if you have kept the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere it is simple for you you have to tell uh, six gyri cingulate gyri medial frontal gyrus paracentral lobule precuneus cuneus and lingual gyrus so we have completed the sulci and gyri on the medial surface of the cerebral hemisphere we will continue with the sulci and gyri on the inferior surface of the cerebral hemisphere then we will see the functional areas of the cerebrum along with the blood supply of the cerebral hemispheres those who are not subscribed to the channel do subscribe now keep watching the videos thank you